All right, today I'm gonna to show you three different things regarding presentations in Canva. First of all, how to share a presentation so that someone else can present it um, through the Canva system. Secondly, I'm gonna show you how to use the presentation features through Canva. And then finally, I'm gonna show you how to download it as actually a PowerPoint presentation if you're more comfortable with that program. So let's dive in. First of all, how do you share a presentation through Canva? It's actually very simple. Once you've created your presentation, go to the top right-hand corner where it says share, and then you'll go down to this link sharing restricted. So you're wanting to make sure they have, whoever has the link has access to use the presentation. So you just click the only people added to this, scroll down and find the anyone with the link button. Now, once you copy this link, they can edit or you can change it to view or comment only. Most of the time I like to leave it as edit if I'm collaborating with someone else or if I'm using the link on someone else's computer, that way if I need to make changes on the fly, I can. But simply all I have to do from this point forward is press the copy link button. Then whenever I email or text it over to um, someone that I'm working with that wants to have access to the program, I simply copy and paste it into the search bar of any web browser and once they're logged into any account, they can actually have access to this link. All right, so number two, how do we present this program directly through Canva? It's very easy as long as it was created as a Canva presentation. You can actually go to this present button, present button on the top right next to the share option, and you'll be given a couple of different options. Standard is going to be just a one screen that is showing only the slides that are available. Autoplay will um, naturally progress through these slides almost as though it's like a, a scheduled PowerPoint presentation so you don't have to sit there and click through it. Presenter view is great if you wanna have notes on one screen and then the presentation viewable to your audience on another screen. And then of course, if you just wanna record a program with a voiceover, almost like you're making a mini movie, you can use the present and record option, which is fabulous. Most people like to use the presenter view, but for today, I'm just gonna show you the standard. I'm gonna press present, and as you can see, I can toggle through all of my slides, and if I go to the left-hand side, I can go back. Very simple and easy. Now next, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna press escape, and I'm gonna show you how to actually download this as a PowerPoint presentation, which is very simple. So if you're more comfortable in PowerPoint, this might be a preferred option for you. I'm gonna press that share button at the top right-hand side again, and go all the way down to the white box that's presented, and press more. And if I scroll all the way down, almost about halfway, under the save options, you have downloads. You can download it as just a, basically a PowerPoint presentation or a, a Adobe presentation with just slides, or you can download it as a Microsoft PowerPoint, which is gonna give you a little more freedom in the changes you can make to it. As you can see, I want to download all of the pages, not just a specific set, but if I did just want one or two, I could just select the pages that I needed. All right, so once I press download, it's automatically gonna start saving that in a PowerPoint for format. And most of the time, it's gonna go into your downloads folder. But for me, it's gonna pop up here on the bottom left for easy access. When I double click it, I'm going to be able to open Microsoft PowerPoint and actually view my slides as I normally would with any presentation. Now I can select this enable editing button on the yellow ribbon above and I can actually go in and make some changes. Not everything is fully compatible with Canva, but most of the items are pretty uh, quick to edit if I needed to. You can also go in and add animations at this point, which is one of the reasons why downloading as a PowerPoint is extremely helpful, because Canva doesn't quite have those normal click and, uh, click and add a line of text animations like PowerPoint does. And then of course, once you're ready to present, on the PowerPoint program, you just go down to the bottom right and press the slideshow button, and you can click through just like we did on Canva or tab through using your keyboard. All right, happy Canva presentation.